Here we go. So I'm about to enter the Cyclops room. Um, I'm going to start. So this old lady here, the Camphrine, is going to start me off with the, I believe it's the Bronze Defender. So this guy's going to drop the Bronze Defender. And hopefully they'll be able to drop me a Rune Defender, um, you know, very, very quickly. So I've currently got uh, 490 Warrior Guild tokens. And I believe every minute you lose 10 of those. So that's about 50 minutes. So that's, yeah, like I said, 50 minutes of killing these Cyclopes. And once I've run out of tokens, I'm going to head, uh, make my way back down to the bottom of the Warriors Guild and collect me some more tokens so then I can, um, you know, last in here a lot longer. And, um, you know, hopefully get that Rune Defender as quick as I can. Because the Rune Defender, it does give you, I believe, some sort of attack bonuses as well as some um, half-decent defense bonuses. But I'd mainly do want it for the attack and strength bonuses that it gives. Because I just, I'm going for the best gear I can right now. And that's uh, probably the Dragon Boots after this. And then the Fighter Torso, hopefully, after that as well. So I am working on a few things right now. I would love to get myself the Fighter Torso, the Slayer Helmet. The, um, the Dragon Boots and the Rune Defender. That would look absolutely amazing. And then once I've hit that, I'll probably make my way up and get it underway, getting the Fire Cape as well, seeing as that's probably the best cape I can achieve in the game right now. So there, you know, there are my sort of goals. Almost 57, uh, almost 57 defense here, which would be very, very nice. And I'll see you in the next clip. Here we are. So that is 57 defense achieved. Time to get, um, I, don't know, I don't know, maybe the next defense level. Currently approaching that uh, sixth uh, defense. Oh, I'm already right. just, um... Oh, it's just telling me out when I'm 53 experience away from 60 defense. But, looks like we're going to have to kill some white knights to obtain this, um, the 60 defense. 60 defense, that allows, though I guess that gives me the ability to wear my dragon boots, which I did just buy before. So I'm going to quickly run over to the bank and uh, grab those out of the bank. Something I've noticed while trying to get the rune defender uh, is that, I I for completely forgot how long it takes to get like the bronze defender and then the iron defender uh, because I've currently used the 500 plus the 750 minus the 222 uh, because what I've done is I got 500 tokens I then used those uh, entire 500 tokens and then I got 750 tokens um, and from that 750 I have 220 tokens so you can do the math to see how many minutes I've spent in that room and I'm completely dry. I have not, you know, I've not seen I've not seen a bronze defender on the floor. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but I'm going to quickly grab these dragon boots out of the bank right now. So there we go, the dragon boots, a nice little I guess um, attribute to my to my account now. It would be nice to get that defender as soon as I can, but at this stage it's taking quite a while. Um, what I might do as well is I might go grab um, some dragon some dragon legs as well because I will be using those quite often and it will give me you know a significant defense boost um, when I'm killing uh, when I'm killing the Cyclops and just when I do Slayer tasks and things like that. So I'm gonna make my way over to Varrock now, have a little look on Zybez and uh, buy myself a pair of dragon legs. So I've just bought the dragon legs off this kind guy called Eat a Baby, and he was just killing the wyverns. So I'm guessing he got um, the dragon plate legs from the wyverns. If you can do that, I believe it's either the visage you can get from these, or the dragon plate legs, or you might even be able to get both. I'm not quite sure, but um, it's time now. I'm probably just going to head back to the uh, to the warriors guild for a little while because I do want to get myself that rune defender as quick as I can, um, and it's taking a really really long time, which is kind of a pain in the bottom, but. Um, at the same time, I want to do some Slayer as well, because it's sort of a waste of melee experience um, killing those Cyclopses when I'm not on a Slayer task, um, because obviously with Slayer and stuff like that, I do want to get higher, a higher Slayer level. Probably around, I'm not quite sure what Slayer level I'm going to be going for, but um, at this stage, I just want to get 55 and enough points for the Slayer helmet. So I'm going to quickly put these on. It looks kind of awkward with the Rune Plate body, um, but I need that, I guess I need the fighter torso as quick as I can, but, um, in the time being, this will give me some more defense, um, as well as the dragon boots, so I'm going to quickly go back and kill the Cyclopses at the Warriors, at the Warriors Guild, and hopefully it will get me the, um, the Rune Defender as quickly as I can. So there we have it, after 1,430 Warrior Guild tokens, I finally got myself the Bronze Defender. Now I'm going to try and use it on her, and I believe she will... Allow me to use, um, hopefully she allows me to, uh, the Iron Defenders, and that, that should be nice. Let's see how long it takes me to get the Iron Defender. Hopefully it doesn't take me another 1,430. I think that that was just really unlucky on my behalf. Uh, but at this stage, 
I'm just going to be using my Rune Kite Shield rather than the Rune Defender. I think just because it's got more defense bonus. And I would benefit more from using that. But hopefully I'll be back with you very, very shortly when I get my Iron Defender. Would you look at that? It was a hard clue scroll and an Iron Defender in one. So what I'm going to do is exit here. That's got me really excited. Not only did I get the Iron Defender in... I believe I got it in 200, so 20 minutes, 200 Warrior Guild tokens, 20 minutes, it only took me 20 minutes, and the first one took me um, 2 hours and 20 minutes, so, yeah. Okay, so it turns out that I didn't actually have any seeds planted, so I didn't really need to go get my Magic Second Tears, but I am planting the f um, the 4 Renar seeds, and I've done 2 out of, I think it's like 5 different chests for the hard clue scroll, I'm not quite sure, but... Just going to plant these Renar Seeds really quickly, and then finish the Hard Clue Scroll. Make my way back into, what is it, the Cyclops layer or the Warrior's Guild to try and get myself the, I think it's the Steel Defender next that i got to get, and then Steel, then Black, then Myth, then Addy, then Rune. So hopefully I can get the Rune Defender um, as quick as I can, because I do want that Rune Defender, because you know, it's taken a little while, but um, I'm going to finish off this farm, this farm run real quick. There we are, Elem Elemental Workshop, that is complete. I needed to do this to get my hands... On this bad boy. Oh, 48 crafting. Oh, I went from 47 to 48 crafting, which is always good. And I've done that because I need the elemental shield, the rune warhammer, the blue dragon tide traps. I need to enter the fishing guild, which is why I have my admiral pie. And then I'm going to do, I think it's like a dancer mode or something like that. And then I need to slay, um, I'm going to slay the old mate that pops up. I think it's the agent. Um, I believe it's 12. Let's have a little look. Spot on, so it is 12. And there we go, so there's the clue reward. Pretty horrible, unless the armadillo page is worth something. So that's the armadillo page sold for 180k, which is always good. That's another, um, I guess, 200k worth of stuff I can buy with supplies and stuff. And it's always good to make a little bit of money from doing, um, or just trying to get the, trying to get the rune defender. So that's always nice. I'm going to quickly get all the gear that I need and go back to the Warriors Guild. Yeah, so just a couple of tokens later, I'm actually get my Steel Defender. This is all, I love the uh, the speed at which I'm getting the Defenders now. That's always good. It took me ages to get my first Bronze Defender, but now it seems like we are getting there. So we are approaching, there we go, 67 attack. That's three levels away from 70. And once I hit that 70, I'll be able to wield the Whip. I don't know how I'm going to finance the Whip, but at least I'll be eligible to use the Whip, which will be, you know, which will be pretty, which will be pretty decent. Um... After 70 attack, I might bump myself up to 70 strength or something like that. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. But um, I want to get, you know, 70 attack, 70 strength, 70 defense in the long run. Um, but at the same time, I still need to do some quests that will give me defense experience. So I don't want to, you know, get too much defense experience. And then at the end of doing quests and training, I don't want to be like 71, 72 or 73 defense. I want to be exactly 70 defense because um, I could potentially... Um, do a little bit of PKing in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that just yet. Because I do want to focus on doing uh, bossing, like, band, um, not not bandos, maybe a little bit of bandos, but mainly barrows, because band barrows are my favorite uh, mini game to do in this game. And I just want to do a ton of that, and I only need 70 defense to do that. But um, hopefully, that uh, hopefully I'll get the Black Defender very, very shortly.